Hello, how are you? I'm Yasuki Kansha, Associate Professor of Environmental Sciences at Programs English at Komaba, PEEP. Thank you for joining my lecture and I'm pleased to hold a demonstration lecture to you. Today's lecture title is Do you understand energy and the materials? Let's move to the next. At first, I'm start talking about my career and major in the university. I graduated the Kyoto University in Japan for undergraduate study and went to National University of Singapore for postgraduate study. You can find that my major is chemical engineering. What is chemical engineering? I believe that you have not learned chemical engineering subject in your school. At the same time, when I say so, most people guess that chemical engineering must be related to chemistry and that I'm good about chemistry. But I'm sorry, to tell the truth, I'm not good about chemistry. I prefer mathematics and physics. In chemical engineering, we use fundamental subjects such as mathematics, chemistry, physics, biology, and so on to efficiently use, produce, and design. Therefore, our research aims to develop the technologies of nano or micro sizes in the laboratory to industrial processes in actual plants. Thus, it is possible to say that chemical engineers have constructed industrial plants. Okay, I believe that some of you have an experience to visit industries or factories. Have you visited there? Although you have not visited yet, you can imagine that there are several machines and devices to produce some products. Many of them have been developed by chemical engineers. Okay, I believe you have an, at least some image about the chemical engineering and chemical engineers. Well, please see the figure in the slide. This is a schematic flow from materials to products. These materials might be oil, coal, iron, and others. And there are several products such as plastic goods and chemicals. For example, your eraser, pen, and also your clothes. Furthermore, electricity or heat as stove are products. Between materials and products, there are several industries. In there, materials are converted to products which we want. Some materials are directly converted to the products. Another are changing their formula by chemical reactions with energy. Energy is also provided by materials. My research, chemical engineering, must be industrialized these chemical conversions. Thus, it is necessary to understand the properties of materials and products with conversions in industries. In this sense, I'm conducting the research in the university from fundamental research for understanding phenomena and properties. Furthermore, I develop the optimal processes which equip many machines and devices and apply them to be industrialized. Therefore, it is necessary to understand properties of materials and energies. These are today's topic. Now, I'm asking you a simple question. 
What kind of the shape does water droplet have? This is quite a simple question. I guess that most of people think that sphere shape or teardrop shape. If some people think that it has the other shape, such as star shape, it must be dream. I can say that with them that dream comes to, to you. Okay, by the way, which is correct form? Sphere or teardrop? I will show you the real shape of water droplet. Currently, we can see the petri dish with water. This is the shadow of the pipette. And I use the distilled water in here. Perfectly a pure water. Now I will show you the movie. This movie was taken by high speed camera. The normal video camera frame speed is 30 frames per second. This speed is 480 frames per second. This means that the speed is 16 times slower than normal speed. Please see the movie first. Now, here is a pipette. And then there is a water droplet. Can you see the droplet shape? This is the shape of droplet. I capture the figure from the, the movies. It seems severe, doesn't it? To tell the truth, here there is another shadow of the water droplet also shows the spheres. The right side movie is a simulation of this water droplet. That's the reason I hide the shape of the water droplet. Now I take out this you know, white colored part. You can see this is a water droplet shape, perfectly a sphere. And this droplet will be dropped into the water. This is uh, uh, poured into the uh, petri dish. And then <clears throat> water was touched to the water of the petri dish. It makes milk clown. This simulation was made by many ball blocks to tell truth. This is the same idea like ball for kids. And this simulation was made by my colleague. In the next, I will talk about boiling. I guess everybody knows the boiling, right? I believe that you know boiling point. Boiling point is a boiling temperature. Okay? And then I guess you, at least you know the boiling point of water. It is 100 degree C. However, many of you don't know that there are three types of boiling. Nucleate boiling, transition boiling, and film boiling. This is a graph. <clears throat> You can see, uh, you can, uh, this is a graph of evaporation rate and temperature. In this graph, you can see the three regions by related to the evaporation rate and also heater temperatures. I will explain these three with movie. At first, Temperature of hot plate was 120 degrees C. Of course, this is a region of nucleate boiling. Water becomes widened after touching plate. 
this is, you know, you can often see this case at kitchen. In the second, temperature of hot plate was 190 degrees C. In this case, water was made explosion and scattered on the plate. It seems very dangerous. In the next, now temperature of hot plate becomes 270 degrees C. What do you think? It becomes higher temperature than this 190 degrees C. It's possible to be a very dangerous. To tell the truth, it is not dangerous. The water seems quite cute. It kept this shape surprisingly long time. Okay, why does this phenomenon happen? It is called Leiden frost effect. The heated surface is too hot. Before water droplet touches the heated surface, some water from the droplet was evaporated. The vapor phase perfectly covers the water droplet and it looks like floating. If you know the air hockey game, this is quite similar. In that case, uh, you know, flower makes um, gas, air gas, and then uh, hockey part will be uh, floating it. But in this case, they uh, you know, water droplet will be uh, floating by their own vapor. This vapor phase prevents heat transfer from hot plate to water droplet. Thus, it keeps water on the surface for a long time. Furthermore, the shape was changed from the sphere shape of the previously we checked it to like this formula by gravity force. This is microscope. Normally, we watch some substances from top view like this using microscope. But it was turned to like this, if you see that the other way, to like this. And we can observe some substances horizontally. This is a hot plate and it is a high speed camera. Using a microscope, we observe the behavior of, of, of water droplet on the surface of a hot plate. The left side movie is in the case that the hot plate temperature was 190 degrees C. You know that this is a region of transition boiling. The speed of movie is 480 frames per second. This means that 16 times slower than normal speed. When water droplet touches the hot plate surface here, the center of water droplet becomes whiter. Like this. These are creating bubbles in the droplet. They make droplet exploded. On the other hand, this movie is in, is in the case that the hot plate temperature was 310 degrees C. It means film boiling region. Water droplet is moving from left to right with jumping on the surface. Really cute. This jumping was made because the tension of the edge of the pipette was created when we put water droplet on the surface. That's why even we are, are put the, this water droplet 
by quietly on the surface of the hot plate, still tension affects and making a jumping. And then this uh, jumping star of the water droplet looks like a imaginary monster of the, some of the video games, slime. In the next, we try to make the size of water droplets even smaller. You can see here is this white bar shows about the le uh, length of 300 micrometer. 300 micrometer is 0 0.3 millimeters. Okay. And then there is a, this kind of the ball, uh, and small ball is kind of a, a water droplet. And then, uh, you know, the, at the same time, the heat uh, temperature is 310 Celsius degree. This means that, again, film boiling. And frame speed is even slower, 1000 frames per second. Water moving once stop and sometimes moving again, like this. <clears throat> you can find them moving randomly. Our group found and observed this phenomena and found that the behavior contribute to the one process to create the uniform thin film. Thus, some Japanese newspaper reported that this, you know, our behavior, then there are, <clears throat> you know, our group becomes famous. So I'm sum summarized so far about materials. We must understand materials property, not only materials and products, but also intermediate substances. Then we can create suitable processes and also the design. From now, I'm talking about energy. This is a graph of energy consumption and then GDP of Japan. This red solid line shows about the GDP lines of the Japan. And then also the, this area colored pink, yellow, and industrial area shows about the energy consumption of Japan. I'm sorry that this graph is a little bit old. This is because the situation of energy in Japan was perfectly changed after 2010. Can you guess what happened in to, after the 2010? In 2011, we met Great East Japan Earthquake. It also called Tohoku Earthquake. Thus, energy and GDP were dropped once in Japan. However, they have been recovered. That's why to capture a trend of the you know, Japanese energy consumption and GDP, I use it the old graph. <clears throat> in this graph, do you know the world of oil crisis? If you are Japanese. In your te history textbook, you can uh, you see the some of the picture. This is a <clears throat> famous picture for Japanese people when you run the oil crisis. This picture shows a buyout com commotion of toilet paper. I'm sorry that uh, today I cannot prepare this picture. But you know, at least you know, please imagine it from my ex uh, explanation. In this picture, many people rush to a supermarket to buy toilet paper, and staff and guardmen of the supermarket try to stop them. By the way, can you explain why this buyout commotion happened at that time? To tell the truth, main material of paper are pulp and fiber from woods. 
not from oils. At the same time, production rate of toilet paper at that time were quite stable. However, many people believed that the shortage of toilet paper would happen. That's the reason it happens in such kind of a situation. Can you explain? There are two reasons. After Middle Eastern countries had decided to increase oil prices, Japanese government provided the statement about paper saving. At the same time, a supermarket put the sign board, no paper for sales of toilet rolls. Newspaper reported that this world and this situation to whole country. Thus, it happens. So, this means that newspaper mislead. Actually, there is a two reasons. One is just now I said Japanese government, and another one is a supermarket. This uh, story mis uh, makes uh, people in Japan mislead it. And <clears throat> it like a rumor, and they believe we do not have uh, any toilet paper at all. Thus, it happened. Now, again, we see the graph of oil price here. Why you know, Middle Eastern country decided to increase the price of the oil? Because in 1973, first Middle Eastern war happened it. And also, the second oil crisis in 1979, Iran-Iraq war happened. It. These two wars made oil prices significantly increase, like this. That's why we call these a uh, oil crisis. However, now you can see this side. Current oil prices is a little bit lower than the this price. However, you know, as compared with this time, oil crisis time, oil price is quite high. This means that we need energy saving. Return to the energy consumption and GDP figure. GDP is gradually increased, which about double of that at past oil crisis. Energy consumption of transport and commercial and residential sectors are following GDP. Now you can see GDP is 2.3 times and transport sectors energy uh, increase of energy consumption is 2.0 and commercial and residential sector case is 2.5 times. <clears throat> However, energy consumption of industrial sector does not increase so much. This is a, remains a quite similar level of the in uh, at the oil crisis. Now you are consider it. What is the fast west, fastest way to increase GDP? Of course, we should produce something and sell them to the others. This means that GDP must be strongly depends on the industrial sector. In fact, the production amount have been increased as compared with the previous time. However, many energy saving technology has been installed to the industrial sector, thus energy consumption still remains same amount as 1973. But at the same time, if you see the, this picture, you can see, easy to imagine. It. This sector, industry sector, still occupies 45% of energy consumption of Japan. Thus, even we have already installed in some of the new technology for energy saving, we need to develop further energy saving technologies 
and installed into the industrial sectors. Of course, this is a quite difficult issue to solve. Today, I'm providing to you a key for developing such technology. So far, I'm talking about energy consumption. Then, I provide to you the next strange question. Whether can energy be consumed or not? Why this question? At first, there is a phrase energy consumption in the previous slide. However, I believe that you learned energy conservation law in physics class. Energy consumption and energy conservation. Hmm, this is quite strange. Which is correct? To tell the truth, energy cannot consume in theory. Energy consumption law is correct for quantity part. This means that I have told a lie to you. Okay, from now I will explain that this what what happens about the energy consumption. Why energy consumption? I will explain why we call energy consumption by using our human activity. This is a curry, correct curry. Of course, it has energy. A boy is eating it for this energy. Okay, he plays or exercises with this energy absorbed energy, right, from the food. <clears throat> of course, he feels hot and sweat like, like this. This is because the energy converts to heat for his body. Energy conserves. It seems the foods convert to heat. Okay, whose energy to the truth, this one is whose energy converts to his body temperature, body heat. At the same time, whose are disappeared because he has eaten. Okay, yeah, if you are good, then you can imagine it. Yeah, he, energy should be recycled in here. Okay, in this case, uh, we are not necessary to absorb the food. However, I would like to ask to you, can you absorb heat for energy? I'm sorry, I don't know about your case, but at least I cannot. This means that foods are more useful for me or most of the human beings and animals than heat. So we can classify the energy as usefulness, then it's possible to say energy quality. Thus, the energy quality of food is higher than that of heat. Okay, another thing. If you are wise enough, you say that we will cultivate crops as food by using this heat. Yes, this is a good idea. But to cultivate crops, we need additional energy. Not only this heat, but also we need some additional energy, sunlight. This means that Additional energy is required for elevating energy quality because whose energy quality is higher than the heat. That's why even we are making a recycle, we need some additional energy to elevate the energy quality. Now, 
you should imagine the situation to the industrial use. Industry try to work to create the, some of the products like this. Then, in this case, the same role of foods are fossil fuels, represented by oil. That is why we count oil consumption as energy consumption. Now you can imagine, right? Energy consumption is to tell truth, this is a fossil fuel consumption and also representatively oil consumption. In fact, you can find the phrase crude oil equivalent in the vertical axis in the previous figure like this. Okay. I believe you have at least get some idea about the energy quality and energy consumption. Okay, now we will focus on energy quality more deeply. There are two energy balls as heat, red and yellow colors. This is because uh, heat is a good example to explain energy quality. Some people say, what is energy ball? To tell the truth, this is an imaginary thing. But you can imagine some Japanese cartoons. In there, heroes are using some related energy, uh, using some skills relating to energy balls. Right? Anyway, now the question is, which energy ball has higher energy quality? The unit of heat is joule. And then both balls have 100 joule. This means that energy amounts, quantity are same. However, their temperature are 1000 Kelvin. The other is 300 Kelvin. 1000 Kelvin uh, is around 727 degrees C. 300 Kelvin is uh, around uh, 27 degrees C. Please let's consider about uh, this question. Which balls has higher energy quality? The answer is red color has higher energy. This is why you can increase yellow color's energy ball's temperature by attaching the this red color's uh, temperature, uh, attaching the this red color's energy ball. But the other way, the red color's temperature does not increase by attaching yellow color ball. This is simply because heat moves from high to low temperature sinks. Thus, to elevate energy quality of heat, one possible way is using heat transfer. At the same time, the lowest energy quantity of heat is atmospheric temperature. This is because we cannot utilize the heat at atmospheric temperature. And there are so much in the world. Here also some of the uh, in, uh, heat, there are some heat at atmospheric temperature. Of course, we cannot see. Now imagine the situation at the kitchen. You are turn on the stove to boil up the water in a kettle. At that time, you use gas combustion to get heat. Normally, temperature of gas combustion is about 1,100 degrees C. This heat transfer to the water in a kettle. Of course, but some of the heat transfer to the air. Thus, you can feel warm when you stay at the kitchen. 
it causes a heat loss. Water evaporation takes place and steam is produced in a kettle. However, now, <clears throat> you know, if we imagine it, there are no heat loss, heat is perfectly transferred into water. In this case, energy is transferred from this you know, uh, com gas combustion to the kettle, uh, water to in the kettle. However, at the same time, high energy quality heat transfer to low energy quality heat from energy quality point of view because evaporation temperature is maximum about 100 degrees C. So, energy quality is combustion temperature is much higher. This means that you know, we degrade the energy quality by heat transfer. By the way, uh, to elevate the quality of heat, it's it is necessary to add the heat, higher quality energy to the heat. This is the same things as the cool and heat. Next, uh, I will show you that the other way to elevate energy quality of heat. This is a syringe. I also prepare the syringe here. And then green part has the air. Here has the air. Okay. The needle side is capped it like this by my finger. By using work to push and then pull like this. Air inside the syringe is compressed and expanded. This is called a compression, no, just a adiabatic compression and then expansion. But to tell the heat loss happens in here. By expansion, the temperature of air is down, and by compression, the temperature of air is up. This means that the energy quality of heat in air can be changed. It. You remember, atmospheric temperature is the lowest energy quality. This means that even temperature will be a lowering or highering. In this case, both of them are energy quality become elevated. This system is called heat pump. And also, by using magnet and magnetic materials, heat pump system can be created. <clears throat> magnetic material has a spin and a lattice. Attaching a magnetic field created by magnet. Spins of magnetic materials become the same direction like this. And this change shake lattice and temperature will be increased. By using this system, it works as heat pump. Where we are adding the additional energy, this one is magnet and also the magnetic materials try to close it. By this magnet, magnetic field, it pulled it. That's why to take it out uh, from the, this magnetic field, we are necessary to additional energy to provide to take it out of this um, magnetic, magnet, uh, magnetic materials. <clears throat> In fact, this picture shows the experimental setup to evaluate this heat pump effect. This silver thing is magnet, and magnetic materials, to tell this name is a gadolinium, particles were placed in, the, in this pipe. And then this motor uh, was moved back and forth, and then to take out the magnetic field. To expand the energy quality idea from the heat to the other things, I'm providing the final question. The question is, which system has highest energy quality? Now, there is uh, three systems, A, B, C. 
you should not count energy of plastic bag. This is just put it for the representativity. Each energy, uh, system has a six, uh, 15 energy balls. Thus, energy amounts are same. And, and different three colors energy balls. Of course, if you know the word of entropy or understand about the entropy, you can answer this question using entropy. However, even you do not know the word of the entropy, you can answer this question from idea of today's lecture. So please consider it uh, you know, this question again. The answer is C. If you make a, a as C, you must select the separate, you must select the balls and then take it out the balls on by you know, your own way by color. This means that you must provide your work to selections of the ball. Remember it? To elevate the quality of energy, it is necessary to add energy. Therefore, energy is required for separation. By the way, I summarize energy part. If we consider the energy saving, we should recycle the energy as much as possible in the process, and not only energy quantity, but also energy quality must be considered. This is a key to the future. So you now I would like to summarize today's uh, topic. To understand the you know, material and the energy properties, uh, you know, today's topic, our groups also have been designed some industrial separation units like this. First one is dryer. I do not, uh, I do not talk about the, this, you know, dryers. Uh, I do not talk about the detail of these dryers uh, and then also the experimental dryer systems. But today, please understand it, that this, you know, energy consumption part. These uh, two systems are currently, you are using the, uh, no, currently, uh, works the dryer. And then our proposed system is like this. As compared with these two, our system, our process is a quite low energy consumption. It means a drastic energy saving can be achieved. In the next, also, this uh, collaborate with uh, some company and we are uh, installed our technology to the, this you know, uh, process. This is also the separation process of the mixture. And then this is a simulation result. You can see as compared with the conventional counterpart, our process consumes a very low energy. This means that energy consumption can be uh, deduced. It. Okay, in this lecture, I talk the importance of understanding energy and materials. And also the key is energy quality. How to use? Of course, I provide some of the example, but this is depends on you. Future. Thank you for uh, your kind attention. Uh, if you are interested in my research, you can access to the following website. This is my laboratory's website. And also, you can listen to my lecture in Japanese, similar with today's topic in this website. Thank you again, and bye-bye.